Southern New Mexico water consumption is increasing as farms use more groundwater during the drought. The population has grown over time as well, so the groundwater is being depleted. Diminished snowpack in the mountains of Colorado has reduced runoff that would help recharge Elephant Butte and some groundwater supplies. New Mexico State University professor and director of the Water Resources Institute, Sam Fernald. We have more water users than we have water. That's the problem. And we're not we're not managing our water in an integrated way. Elephant Butte Reservoir went from 16 million acre feet in the year 2000 to less than 400,000 acre feet in 2011. And at the same time, New Mexicans are increasingly pumping water resources out of the ground. Experts say this might be sustainable, but only when there's wet seasons every few years, not in a sustained drought. Fernald says all this groundwater use is like draining a bank account. In drought, without that recharge, without the surface water, without the precipitation that soaks into the ground, then you start getting into a situation where you're extracting more than you're recharging. And if that goes on for a while, you've used up your checking account and you start dipping into your savings. And this is where, depending on where you are in New Mexico right now, we're at a point where we're crossing the threshold from using our water like a checking account to going into our savings. And then that can be a problem because, you know, your savings account, once you use that up, you don't have anything to turn to. How is all this groundwater pumping affecting the water table? Here are a few examples. The Mesilla Basin, the aquifer below Las Cruces, dropped 15 feet in 15 years. In that same amount of time, the Hueco Bolson aquifer below El Paso dropped 55 feet. So how dire is the current situation, and precisely how much water do we have? Actually, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. That's because New Mexico has not been keeping track of the state's total water supply. Fernald says New Mexico is focused on administering water rights for farmers. Fernald says that made sense in the 80s and 90s, before the drought hit, when reservoirs like Elephant Butte were better supplied. But now the state must adapt to the new reality of water scarcity. We're bumping up against the basically limits to use because we're in a drought. So that's why we need these data now and why they didn't have them before because there wasn't this scarcity driving the need for the research like there is now. Fernald says the institute he directs is working to get state funding for the needed research. He's pushing a $2 million water bill in the New Mexico legislature to support statewide water research and assessment and new water sources. We're looking to new waters and one of those is marginal waters, marginal quality waters like brackish water, you know, salty groundwater, produced water, the water that comes up with oil and gas that's a byproduct of the oil and gas production, reused water, um, the Wastewater from urban areas can be reused. Fernald says informed decisions about New Mexico's future water resources need to be made. But he says that can't happen without a comprehensive statewide assessment into strategies for sustainable water use and access. We are building the tools to make informed decisions about water. In the long run, the research would be used to inform state water policy and allow for regions to manage their own water supplies. There is little legislative opposition to the water research bill. But with less state money available, Fernald says he's working to ensure that $2 million in funding is a legislative priority. For KRWG, I'm Simon Thompson.